Coach Larry Bergman takes a hands-on approach to coaching, and he takes that same approach to handling your car. So join Coach's team and give your car, truck, or boat the MVP treatment at Coach Wash, where our customers call the plays. We are now hours away from week two of the football season, and that means we're going to talk a little bit about the Mustangs and talk a little bit about the Faith Flames. We're going to start with Marble Falls. The Mustangs will be on the road traveling to Medina Valley in the hopes of getting another win over the Panthers. Remember, Marble Falls beat Medina Valley 41-21 last year in the home opener, which was a stunning loss for the Panthers, coming in ranked number 14 in Class 4A. We did get a chance to talk to Marble Falls head coach Cord Warner about Week 2. Here's what he had to say. Oh, heck. I hope we learned a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is kind of uh, uh, being ready to go right off the bat. You know, you can't wait around and, and get punched around a little bit and then always, uh, you know, have to, to come back. We need to come out swinging a little bit. We need to come out... Uh, and take it to them as opposed to uh, spending so much time settling into the game. And then they'll be good with that. As for the Faith Flames, they will be at Pony Stadium for the 7.30 kickoff Friday night when they host Kingwood Northeast. This is a brand new team that the Flames have never ever played. But that doesn't mean that Faith Academy isn't happy to be at Pony Stadium. As head coach Russ Roberts mentioned already, Faith has played one game at Pony Stadium, a big one in 2010. In the junior high uh, stadium Friday night, which which we played uh, probably our biggest game of the year last year against Fredericksburg, and it's a great place to be, and we're very appreciative not only of, of Marble Falls ISD for allowing us to do it, but even more appreciative for the way they keep that field. It's an outstanding field.